This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I, of course, am your host, Josh Peck. Now, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, make sure you subscribe, click the bell, and if YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. Now, today I wanted to talk about a recent controversy that's surrounding uh, the apparent detection of gravity waves about three years ago. Uh, And actually, the first direct detection of gravitational waves was announced on February 11th, 2016. Uh, It earned the 2017 Nobel Prize and officially launched what was called multi-messenger astronomy. But a team of physicists at the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen, Denmark, is doubting that detection based on its own independent data analysis uh, that's been conducted over the past last uh, two and a half years or so. Now, the online publication New Scientist reported recently that the group thinks the original gravitational wave detection uh, signal by LIGO, standing for Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, was an illusion. The researchers say patterns in the noise were mistook for a signal. And the magazine says this is an exclusive, but group spokesperson Andrew Jackson has been putting this out there for quite a while now, after first being unsatisfied about LIGO's analysis as presented during the February 11th, 2016 press conference in Washington, D.C. Uh, LIGO Executive Director David Reitz of Caltech says, quote, Andrew Jackson and his group have been saying that for the past few years, LIGO's detections are not real. Their analysis has been looked at by many people who have all concluded that there is absolutely no validity to their claims, end quote. Uh, Reitz characterizes the New Scientist article as, quote, very biased and sensational, end quote. Now, LIGO spokesperson David Shoemaker of uh, MIT thinks this is all based on a misunderstanding about LIGO's methods for analyzing its data. So he stated that they came to it skeptically, saying, quote, I think skepticism in science is a really important thing. You have to question results, but these are complicated data. They are not simple to understand. Uh, certainly nothing they've done gives us any reason to doubt their results, end quote. Now, while LIGO has a reputation for excessive secrecy, uh, Shoemaker says the collaboration has spent a great deal of time interacting with Jackson and his group over the last two years to improve their understanding of LIGO's methods, uh, including even extending visits to the Niels Bohr Institute and inviting Jackson and his group to discuss the issue in depth in teleconferences with LIGO team members. However, Within this field of research, there are actual reasons to doubt. Uh, In the 1960s, physicist Joseph Weber of the University of Maryland designed and built his own detector using resonant bars that were uh, supposed to vibrate in response to a gravitational wave. Now, Weber claimed he had detected a signal in 1969, but nobody else could replicate the results, and Weber's professional reputation never fully recovered from that. Uh, Also, we have in 2014 the BICEP-2 collaboration, which uh, looks for signatures of gravitational waves in the cosmic microwave background, announced it had detected indirect evidence of these ripples in the fabric of space-time. But within weeks, serious doubts began to emerge, and it turned out that the BICEP collaboration had mistaken clouds of cosmic dust for a signal. Uh, The gravitational wave community was so burned by BICEP-2's situation that LIGO begun operating in extreme caution and secrecy, which ironically is a big part of why the collaboration uh, is distinguished in or distrusted in some circles. Its researchers spent several months between the signal detection and the official announcement in February of 2016 to double, triple, and even quadruple check their analysis uh, to guard against another false detection. 
So we might ask, how could this possibly happen again? Well, first, it's unlikely that it actually has happened again. But if it were to happen again, or if this is actually a case uh, of this happening again, it's probably due to the fact that separating signal from noise is very difficult in this kind of analysis. Uh, the signal's extremely faint on the order of a billionth of a billionth the diameter of an atom. And that's why you need such sensitive detectors to pick them up at all. Uh, also, the universe itself is very noisy. The, the weakness of the gravitational waves isn't the problem. It's that there are a lot of other things that can move, uh, that can move or trigger these detectors. Now, LIGO data analysis, uh, analyst, excuse me, uh, Neil Cornish of Montana State University told New Scientist that Jackson's study is wrong and that, the, uh, and that Jackson's group used a simplified analysis to make some very uh, basic mistakes when deciding how to uh, go about analyzing the raw data and accounting for the noise. Jackson's team searches for collisions using a limited set of modeled signals, but the actual collisions will produce signals that differ from the modeled ones in some details. And according to REITs, uh, LIGO doesn't use this method to make statistical statements about its confidence in detection. So perhaps the best argument in favor of the validity of LIGO's detection is the number of additional detections it has made since then, most notably last year's binary ne uh, neutron star merger, uh, supported by a simultaneous gamma ray burst and signals in the rest of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, Jackson denies all of that, too, but the argument rests on the fact that LIGO initially thought the event was a false alarm since it coincided with a type of glitch. But LIGO apparently removed the glitch from the data, but Jackson doesn't trust its analysis. Now, this Danish group's position is a minority opinion, and even those physicists who went on the record with new scientists uh, in support of the da uh, Danish team's um, analysis still think still think that. And in the end, the LIGO result will hold up. That's what these scientists that went on record at New Scientists still believe. Uh, their emphasis is on the need for independent confirmation of LIGO's analysis. And on that, on, that, on that point, people seem to be in agreement. Now, a technical paper is in the works right now at the LIGO collaboration detailing how it has handled the noise in its data. And up until now, the noise issue hasn't really been of top priority in a paper like this. This, this whole situation with Jackson's group has given LIGO reason to complete it, though. So instead of being a rebuttal of Jackson and his group, uh, the paper is set, uh, said to detail the specific points where there were difficulties in the analysis uh, and in the interpretation of the data. So what do you think? Is, is Jackson and his group right to question the LIGO discovery? And is the team at LIGO correct in believing Jackson and his group are wrong? Uh, what would this mean for the rest of us if the detection turned out to be confirmed or denied? Let me know in the comments section below. And again, if you haven't had a chance to do so already, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If you don't get notified, just know every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. All right, everybody, I want to thank you all for joining me yet again. And until next time, take care and God bless. In recent years, an insidious force has methodically infected much of institutionalized Christianity, an ancient occultism. Once recognized as perilous by the fathers of the faith, has slowly redressed the worship of demons as characteristics of faithful theology. Many modern churchgoers seem blind to the unseen dangers and unwittingly are embracing dangerous arcane paganism that can at any moment unleash dark influence into their lives and homes. But now, former New Agers Josh Peck and Stephen Bancars will guide you through the underworld of contemporary New Ageism to expose the lies being told and sold to millions around the world. 
Finally, you will learn the secrets of the deceivers and ensure your own spiritual safety and that of your family and friends. Get ready. What is happening in your church and what is coming next is exposed in the second coming of the new age by Josh Peck and Stephen Bancars. Churches and educational establishments from universities down to elementary schools are embracing New Age philosophy and are being seduced by heavy demonic forces that are masquerading as angels of light, ascended masters, spirit guides, and even Jesus Christ himself. Skywatch TV is proud to announce the second coming of the New Age official collection. When you order the new book, The Second Coming of the New Age by Stephen Bancars and Josh Peck, you'll receive the brand new DVD, Beyond Supernatural, which includes never-before-released off-the-record interviews with the authors, detailing their long history of involvement with the New Age, and personal testimonies of their deliverance by Jesus Christ. And as a bonus, this DVD includes the entire Skywatch TV five-part series exposing the infiltration of the New Age. Plus, you'll also receive on DVD The Book of Enoch, Fallen Angels, and Ancient Aliens, an exclusive production with Dr. Michael Heiser regarding the blatant lies of ancient astronaut theory and the horrifying nature of fallen angels and alien abduction. Also included is the brand new audio series, Doctrines of Devils. Listen as Stephen Bancars interviews Doreen Virtue, world-renowned former best-selling author and teacher for the New Age, as she explains her incredible supernatural journey out of the occult and into the arms of Jesus. This over 12-hour series features bonus interviews with Dr. Chuck Missler, Dr. Thomas Horn, John McTurnan, Gary Bates, and many more on the subjects of ghosts, demons, and the supernatural. But that's not all. You'll also receive the oversized, beautifully republished classic masterpiece in hardback, Myths and Legends of Babylonia and Assyria. This work provides not only the account of the mysteries of the ancients, but extracts and presents to the reader the occultism driving much of the New Age and heretical doctrines today. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of over $150. Yours now for your donation of only $35 plus shipping and handling. You can have access to everything you need to arm yourself against the onslaught of pervading spiritual darkness now. The Second Coming of the New Age official collection is available now at skywatchtvstore.com. Order now or call 1-844-750-4985.